بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس ہیو اے نائس ڈے ہوپ یو ول بی فائن بیسٹ آف یور ہیلتھ دس از ڈاکٹر ساجد محمود راو ڈویژن آف سائنس اینڈ ٹیکنالوجی یونیورسٹی آف ایجوکیشن لاہور ٹوڈے وی آر ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ فائٹو کیمیکلز دیٹ آر دا نیچرل پروڈکٹس ان وچ وی ول ڈسکس شارٹ کویشچن آنسرز دیٹ از ریلیونٹ ٹو دا کورس آف ایڈوانس نیچرل پروڈکٹ کیمسٹری کیم 5121 لیٹس سی دا شارٹ کویشچن نمبر 6 واٹ ڈو یو نو اباؤٹ دا ڈیفرنس بٹوین زینتھونز Pomeranes and flavonoids. Discuss its biological activity and nutraceutical brands that have been launched to the market. Let's see what are the xanthones. Xanthones are one of the biggest class of compounds in natural product chemistry. Xanthones are scantry metabolites and their structures are related to that of flavonoids. They are polyphenolic heterocyclic compounds. You can see over here the structures of xanthones which consist of two phenol phenyl groups the second molecule is gratinin which consist of a large number of polyhydroxyl and polyphenolic groups so first of all we discuss the different sources and uses of xanthone molecules xanthone is found in different families of the plants and that families are bonitiaceae glucosiaceae podostemaceae and others they are also found in some species of the genus iris Some xanthones are found in the pericarp of the mangosteen fruit that is called Garcinia mangostena as well as in the bark of different plants. Xanthones are used as antioxidant, anti-tumor, anti-allergic, anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, antifungal and antiviral activities. The second molecule is gratinin. Now we see its sources and uses. Gratinin is found in the plant of Garcinia mangostina and it is used and in autopathy apoptosis and the growth of human urinary bladder cancer cell lines xanthones are soluble in water and they are mostly soluble in hot water due to the presence of hydroxyl group in phenyl group now let's see how the xanthones are identified so Xanthones in methanolic and petroleum ether extract is detected by antimony trichloride. It shows greenish blue color. Take a sample in ferric chloride solution. Gives formations of bluish black precipitates, which indicates the presence of xanthone phytoconstituents. When we see its sources, xanthones are scantry metabolites commonly occurring in fungi, lichen, and higher plants families such as Janitiaceae, Gotifera, Moraceae. Glucosiaceae and Polyglyaceae. When we see its biological activities, it is used as anti-inflammatory activity due to the presence of magnifidin, and it is used as hypoglycemic activity due to the presence of belladifolin, and it is used as insect repellent activity and mutagenic activity, which is due to the presence of Sertinia phytoconstituents. These are the phytoconstituents which fall in the category of xanthone molecules. You can see over here three phytoconstituents. The first molecule is gambogenic acid which is rich with anti-tumor activity. The second molecule is mangifidin which is rich with anti-inflammatory activity. The third molecule is mangosteen which is rich with antibacterial activity. Now we see the sources of these molecules as well as their other pharmacological applications. The first molecule fuel is gambogenic acid. Gambogenic acid is derived from the brownish or orange resin from Garcinia plant. It is used in its acid form as a novel anti-cancer agent that inhibits cell proliferation, angiogenesis, and metastasis. Ability to detoxify, kill parasites, and stop bleeding as a hemostatic agent. The second molecule is magnifidin. Magnifidin is also known as Magnifera indica, which is extracted from the mango peels, as well as it is found in the genera Celesia and Cyclopia. It is used for the productions against chronic disorders and treatment of the acute ailments, antioxidants, anti-infectious, anti-diabetic, anti-atherosclerotic, and cardiovascular effects to enhance the cognitive brain functions. The next molecule is mangosteen. 
This molecule is found in the plant Garcinia mangostena. It is used for diarrhea, urinary tract infections, gonorrhea, thrush, tuberculosis, menstrual disorder, cancer, osteoarthritis, and an intestinal infection called dysentery. It is also used for stimulating the immune system and improving mental health. Xanthones can also be used in the field of medicinal applications as well as in fertilizers. You can see over here the molecule sulfonated xanthones which are used as a cytotoxicity agent in cancer cell lines. The second molecule is 7-chloro-1,2,3-trihydroxy. 6 methoxyxanthone which is used as anti proliferative activity against the human intestinal adenocarcinoma cell lines. The second activity is fertilizer activity in which crude extract of civetia is used in insect repellent activity and hookery extract is used as antimicrobial activity. Now we discuss some important pharmaceutical brands in which Phytoconstituents that have uh, fall in the category of xanthones have been formulated and evaluated in different dosage form. So let's see the first brand. The name of that brand is Mangosteen. It is manufactured by Advanced Physician Formulas and we take its dose 500 mg per day. So this brand is formulated in capsule dosage form that is serving as uh, 60 capsules per container. This brand is used to immune system enhancer and it is used energy production as well as antioxidant activity. The second brand is GCM50. In this brand, Garcinia mangostana extract is used as active extract. It is formulated by the healthcare formula and we take its 50% pure extract in capsule dosage form. It is formulated in capsule dosage form that serving per contain 90 capsules. So it is used as obesity anti medicines. The last brand is Mangosteen Pericarp. It is manufactured by Mojo Body and we take its dose 1500 mg per day to 1800 mg per day and it can it is formulated in capsule dosage form so it can be taken 3 capsules per day. It is used as anti-inflammatory properties. It is used as antioxidant properties, combats free radicals as well as boost immunity. Let's see what are comoranes. Comoranes are the organic compounds containing six two member rings which fused with each other. One benzene ring and the other one contains alkenes and ester function groups. You can see over here three examples of the comorane molecules and these are the phytoconstituents which fall in the category of comoranes. The first molecule is warfarin second molecule is sorlin and the third one is xanthotoxin now we see the uses and uh, isolation sources of these phytoconstituents warfarin is isolated from comorane source and it is used as an anticoagulant agent which is used for blood thinner warfarin reduces the formation of blood clots warfarin is used to treat prevent blood clots in veins and arteries the second molecule is sorlin Sorodin is isolated from Ficus carcia, Hemi visganaga, as well as Foniculum vulgaris. It is used in different skin diseases like that of vitiligo and eczema. The third molecule is anthotoxin, which is isolated from Hemi magus, and it is also used for the treatment of skin diseases, and that includes vitiligo and eczema. Comorines are mostly soluble in ether, diethyl ether, chloroform, oil, pyridine, soluble in ethanol. Comorines are insoluble in water, but active drugs are 0.17 gram per 100 ml. Now we see the identification test of comorine molecules and check how these molecules are identified. The first test is test with ammonia. In this te test, two to three drops of ammonia is taken on filter paper and added few drops of aqueous extract of drug. It changes into green fluorescence color which indicates the presence of comorine molecules. The second test is taken with hydroxyl amine hydrochloride. In this test, we take ethereal extract of drug, then added one drop of saturated alcoholic hydroxyl amine hydrochloride. 
and added one drop of alcoholic potassium hydroxide. Then we heat it and then cooled. After that, acidify it with 0.5 normal hydrochloric acid. Then added 1% weight by volume 5 trichloride. The overall results is violet coloration, which indicates the presence of coumarine molecules. These are some other sources from which xanthone molecules are isolated and these sources are tonka bean, spath, comarone or data and lavender. Xanthone's molecules also have biological activities. It is used for the regulation of plant growth and metabolites. It is also used as anticoagulant that is warfarin and anti-TB that is sorolene. There are different fatty constituents which are present in different sources other phytoconstituents are sorolin that is found in the leaf and root of plants and bergaptan is found in the leaf of plants. The other applications, it is also used as a excipients, as a sweetener, flavor stabilizers, order masker used in organic dyes. It is also used in photoredox catalyst. Xanthones are used in the formations and evaluation of different pharmaceutical dosage form. So you can see over here some important and famous products that have been launched in which different xanthones are used as phyto constituents. The first brand is Comadine. It is manufactured by Bristol Myers Keeps and will take its dose 1 mg to 5 mg per day. It is formulated in the form of tablet dosage form and it has anticoagulant activity that is called blood thinner activity. The second brand is Diflucan which is manufactured by Pfizer and will take its dose 3 mg to 12 mg per day. It is formulated in different pharmaceutical dosage form which includes tablet, capsule, syrup and cream dosage form. It is used as an antifungal agent. Let's see what are the flavonoids. Flavonoids are a class of polyphenolic plants and fungus secondary metabolites. Flavonoids are a group of plants metabolites though to provide health benefits through cell signaling, pathways and uh, antioxidant effects. These molecules are found in variety of fruits and vegetables. Flavonoids uh, are polyphenolic molecules containing 15 carbon atoms and are soluble in water. They consist of two benzene rings connected by a short 3 carbon chain. One of the carbon chain in this chain is connected to a carbon in one of the benzene ring either through an oxygen bridge or directly which gives a third middle ring. The flavonoids can be divided into six major subtypes which includes chalcones, flavones, isoflavonoids, flavonones, anthoxanthosins and anthocyanins. Many of these molecules, particularly the anthoxanthines, give rise to the yellow color of some petals while anthocyanins are often responsible for the red color or buds and the purple red color of autumn leaves. Flavonoids are abundant in plants in which they perform several functions. They are essential pigments for producing the colors needed to attract the pollinating insects. In higher plants, the flavonoids are also required for UV filtration nitrogen fixation, cell cycle inhibition and as chemical messengers. Flavonoids secreted by a plant's roots and the symbiotic relationship between the rhizia and certain vegetables such as peas, clover and beans. You can see over here the basic skeleton of the flavonoid molecules. Flavonoids are soluble in less polar solvent, high polar solvent and combinations of the organic and water solvents. So we can see over here the molecules which are less soluble fractions that are isoflavones, flavonones, methylated flavones and these are soluble in chloroform, dichloromethane, diethyl ether and ethyl acetate. So now we discuss the flavonoids which are rich with alcoholic and alcoholic water solutions that are flavonoids glycosides. Flavonoids are identified by using Shinoda test and antimony pentachloride test. The first test, in this test, alcoholic solution of flavonoid is taken with magnesium metal hydrochloric acid. It gives the orange red or violet color which indicates the presence of flavonoid molecules. 
in antimony pentachloride test a alcoholic solution of levonoids is added to the antimony pentachloride and carbon tetrachloride solutions which gives a red or violet color which indicates the presence of levonoid molecules these are the sources of flavonoids which includes onions ginger celery parsley are rich sources of flavonoids the other sources of flavonoids are tea citrus fruit citrus fruit juices berries red wine apples and legumes flavonoids are used as anti allergic anti inflammatory antioxidant antimicrobial antibacterial antifungal antiviral anti cancer and anti diarrheal activities so you can see over here some biological activities of uh, flavonoids that are very general and these are antioxidant anti inflammatory and anti allergic now we discuss some important phytoconstituents that fall in the category of xanthones and these have very rich pharmaceutical applications you can see over here antioxidant is due to quercetin anti inflammatory is due to hesperidines and lutein and anti allergic is due to caffeinol now we we'll discuss in details the sources and uses of quercetin quercetin is found in many plants and foods such as red wine onions green tea apples berries ginkgo biloba buckwheat tea has a large amount of quercetin quercetin is most commonly taken by mouth to treat conditions of the heart and blood vessels and prevent cancer it is also used for arthritis bladder infections and diabetes but there is limited scientific evidence to support these uses so the second molecule that is caffeinol caffeinol is uh, isolated from apples onions leeks citrus fruits grapes red wines ginkgo biloba and can be used as a strong antioxidant and helps to prevent oxidative damage of our cells lipids and dna caffeinol seems to prevent artery sclerosis by inhibiting the oxidation of low density lipoproteins and the formation of platelets in the blood xanthones are used in the industry of food in fertilizers as well as pharmaceutical industries you can see over here citrus fruit red wine and strawberries are used in food industries and rocky prac is used in, as fertilizers and ginkgo biloba is the major and very brand common nutraceutical products which is used in pharmaceutical sectors now we can see over here some important pharmaceutical products and brands that have been launched in the market in which different flavonoids molecules are used as a phytoconstituents the first brand is flav flavozet it is manufactured by fink pharmaceuticals and we take its dose 500 to 1000 mg per day and it is formulated in tablodosy form so it is used as anti inflammatory drug the second brand is uh, genistein it is manufactured by hangzhou pharmaceuticals we take its dose 200 mg to 300 mg per day this product is formulated in capsule dosage form and we take it as antibacterial agent the next brand is dadzin it is manufactured by handen genen pharmaceuticals we take its dose to 50 mg to 300 mg and is formulated in tablet dosage form so this brand or product is taken as antioxidant drug dear student thank you so much for your kind attention so please feel free to contact in case of any queries okay allah hafiz bye